Hi guys, good morning. I thought it'd be fun to do a little book vlog, ultimate book vlog. It's currently 10.22 and I'm just gonna get ready. I took a shower. I figured I'd show you my current little makeup routine. It's very simple, very easy, but it's been really good. Step one brows. I love the Kosa's Nano Brow, brown black. I haven't vlogged in so long. I feel so weird right now. Anyway, brows are on. I've been going for a little bit of a thinner brow, which I think really suits my face shape. This is really the star of the show, the Kosa Swipe Concealer. I love this stuff, like that. I even put my sister onto this. I told her like, go to Sephora immediately and get that one because it's so good. And then I just blend it out with a little stay brush and it kind of acts as like my foundation. I don't like to have that much on my face for just like every day, you know? A little, it goes a long way. Like that little part under my eye like is going all the way down my cheek and up. Then powder, just take it on a really big brush. This is the Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer. This shade is perfect. I wear the shade medium dark. I've had it in my collection and I forgot about it and recently rediscovered it. And I was like, wait, why didn't I not why do I not use this? Like it's the perfect shade. I love it. And it works over powder, which is like incredible. I do a little bit on my nose, like on the tip of my nose right there. Then really like the last step is blush. I've been liking the Bare Minerals. I've been liking the Bare Minerals bronzer in Kiss of Pink. Just like that. I need to blend it into my brow. Always do the tip of my nose and my chin. And if you wanna scream, don't call me kid. Don't call me baby. Look at this. Okay, eyelash curler. I need a mirror. Because these things really scare me. Like when I see people just go, I'm like, that's scaring me. So I go very slowly as to not pinch my flipping eyelid. Because if you've ever pinched your eyelid in one of these things, it's actually terrifying and hurts so bad. You know, it's equally as terrifying the thought of going to Barnes right now. Because <laughs> last time I went to Barnes, I literally was followed. Literally literally and i was terrified my husband was out of town and my kids were at school and i felt very scared but i'm gonna go try going to a different one today and see how that is oh yeah yeah just girly things because of course i was followed by a man okay this is good this is good and you want to scream don't call me kid don't call me baby Maybe we need to play that. This is the best mascara ever. That's the thing about illicit affairs and clandestine meetings and but you want to scream, don't call me kid, don't call me baby. That's the makeup, that's the face. It's so easy, like what, five products? Okay, let's do something with my hair. I feel like I just want to do like a half up, half down situation. And you want to scream, don't call me kid, don't call me baby. Okay, here we go. That's it. That's the look. I think let's go to Starbucks next. So I think actually the video before this was my like 2024 TBR and I put all of it in a like Notion thing, Notion page so I can know what I want to read next year or like kind of get an idea, you know? I want to read a lot of books. Like I want to read like a hundred books next year. So I was like, let me write down like a hundred books for my TBR. Oh, I'm going to go through that before I go to the bookstore so I can know what what the vibe is. A lot of these I already have, so that's great. So the Addicted Calloway series, I definitely want to get. I think I have the first book, and I think there's 10 books, so I don't know, we'll see. And then, oh I actually have a lot of these. Oh no, there was one other series I wanted to read. Oh, the Chestnut Spring series. I feel like those two series is what I'm gonna focus on today. And I also have like $25, I think, in like Barnes Rewards, 
so that's exciting but now that i'm looking at this like most of these books i already have like once upon a broken heart i want to finish akatar i want to read the throne of glass series natural terry potter i won't go through the whole list but you guys can just go back and watch that video but this is actually pretty good because i do need to get a lot of my physical tbr major down major okay we're at starbucks hopefully they have what i want in stock hi can i get a decaf ice brown sugar oat milk shake and espresso yeah totally what time? um grande grande decaf brown sugar oat milk shake Espresso. And then Sweet. can I add two pumps of pumpkin sauce to that? Sadly, no. Oh. Done with pumpkin for the season. <gasps> what? Two pumps of white mocha is good in there, though. Okay. Wow. I know. What a shock. Um, it disappeared too soon. I know. Okay, and then can I get a gingerbread loaf? Do you guys have Absolutely. that still? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. While supplies last. Oh. What else for you? Nice. Okay, that's all. All right, we've got 1191 for you. All right, Kyra, we'll see you up here. Thank you. Done with pumpkin is a crime. But I'm pretty sure the other Starbucks down the street from me has it still, so I might have to start going there. there you Thank you. Thank you. All right, let's go to Barnes. And guys, don't let me forget that I need to buy cat food, okay? I seriously can't forget because I forgot yesterday. I can't forget again. Here's the silence. It cuts me to the core. Where is this going? Let me put you guys on to the best Taylor Swift song of all time. Okay? Listen to this. Listen to this. I never had the courage of my convictions. This long as danger is near. And it's just around the corner, darling. Cause it lives in me. Oh! No, I can never give you peace I'm a fire and I'll keep your brittle heart warm If your cascade ocean wave blues come All these people think love's for show But, but I would, I would die, die for you in secret But there's robbers to the east, clowns to the west I'd give you my sunshine give you oh, Such a beautiful song, I can't get over it That new one On a boat, a new girl is my clone. Think I didn't see you there with flashing lights. At least I had the decency to keep my nights out of sight. I think about jumping off a very tall somethings just to see you come running. You say the one thing I've been wanting, but no. If she's got blue eyes, I will surmise that she probably hate her. You search in every model's bed for something greater. If I had that in 2013, uh, you would not, you would not hear the end of it. You would not hear the end of it. Oh my gosh, I was just about to let go of my door and I'm so glad I didn't because the wind like is pulling. I almost hit this car. I would have literally lost it. Okay, we're here. We're at a different barns. I've only ever been to this one once because as we know, I was followed at the other one. Maybe I'll do a little story time when we get home. I remember, I keep forgetting because I wanted to do a TikTok story time too, but I keep forgetting. Anyway, here she is. There's also a Petco right here, so perfect. Cat food. a successful little trip <sighs> only thing is my camera every time I press the record button it literally goes beep and I don't know how to turn that off Kayla knows how to turn it off but I don't so that's my thing I don't want people feeling like I'm recording around them you know I want to keep the vibes good keep the vibes good anyway I really like this um, Barnes a lot more than the other one I don't know why 
at the other one, I just kept getting anxiety every time I would go. And I'm like, I don't know why I feel that way. Like, I love book shopping, but I would feel so anxious, like something bad was gonna happen. And actually the last time I went, I was like, I'm not gonna go to that Barnes anymore because something about it is just off. Like I could just feel it in my spirit. Um, but then I went because Kaylin was out of town and I was like, let me just have a chill little girl's day. And that's when I was followed. I'm not going to that one anymore. I just don't get a good feeling. So I was like, let's try this one today and see how I feel. And I honestly felt great. Like I did feel like a little bit on edge just because of what happened at the last Barnes. This time I felt good. Like I felt actually calm. I felt like I could walk the aisles and it was chill. I also feel like the other Barnes I go to has too many workers. Stay with me. I feel like when, cause the other Barnes is also two levels. So it's smaller and smaller versus this one's like way more spread out. But when you have so many workers in a small space, it just feels like every five seconds you're getting asked like, can I help you find anything? Do you need help with anything? Do you need a basket, whatever, which I love, but one worker doesn't know that the other worker had just asked you that. So then it just feels like every five minutes they're like, you're getting checked in on. And then you just feel like you're staying for too long and you're like, staying in, in the section for too long or like I don't know you just feel uncomfortable at least I do I just feel uncomfortable feeling like they know how long I've been in here do I need to leave I don't know I just it was too much it was too much this one there was only like two workers on the floor and so I feel like I just got to like roam freely there weren't a ton of people and all around good vibes good vibes there's a Petco right here so I'm gonna go to Petco also one other thing I want to say is why were those books like twenty dollars each what what i was like holy moly i'm so glad i had rewards because each book was like twenty dollars i feel like i never go to barnes and the books are twenty dollars each never like they're normally 12 15 maybe those books are just really popular like i wonder how and who decides like the price of a book because why can I buy one paperback and it'll be like $14 and another one will be $20? I don't know. I just feel like that's crazy. That's only like $5 away from what a hardcover is, you know? That's crazy. But you know what? I also had bought part of the Addicted series on Amazon and like every single book came um, damaged. So I don't know what's up with that, but... So I had to return them and I was like, I'll just go to Barnes. But I wonder how much they are on Amazon because, you know, I love supporting my local Barnes because I don't want Barnes to go out of business, you know? Like, I don't know if you guys remember, but at one point Barnes was like gonna go out of business. It was really bad. Like in my hometown, they almost closed it because not enough people were shopping there. But I'm like, geez, um, $20 for a paperback? Like. That's crazy to me. Now I wanna see how much it is on here. It's $10 on Amazon. Like, why? The benefit of going into a bookstore to buy your books is that you can actually look at them, make sure they're good quality, make sure everything looks right. I'm just weird about that. Like I like, if I'm buying a new book, I want it to look brand spanking new. And the Amazon books were just so bad, so damaged. Okay, let's go into um, Petco and get some cat food. I noticed there's Michaels and I'm gonna start a reading journal, like a bullet journal, so I just wanted to see. Perfection, they were having like a buy one, get one half off. I'm so happy. I can't wait, I literally cannot wait. I feel like I think I'm doing everything right. Some of the things like confuse me, I'm like what goes with what and what should I buy? and whatever but it was great they were doing buy one get one half up on some of the stuff and then they were doing 30 percent off full price items on like the app or whatever or the website so whenever you go to like michael's or joann's if you didn't know this because i wasn't really aware of this before i started going to joann's i honestly always got my craft stuff on like amazon or i've just ordered online but Never pay full price because like Joann's is and Michael's are always doing like percentages off and stuff. So that's what you should do just to let you know. Okay, let's get some lunch. And then, oh wait, let me show you. Let's do a little haul first since we're here. I got from Michael's. Normally a Joann's girly, but hey. I got these stamps. 
because I feel like this will be really nice in the journal to do like January or whatever whatever I want to put literally and then I got some ink I don't have any ink at home so it's weird I have stamps at home but I don't have ink there we are okay some floral washi tape I love this it's so pretty wait can you see so pretty these are like my favorite markers ever I've used these since I started bullet journaling in like 2018 the best the hard and soft tip from Tombow and the Pigma Microns perfect because they're tiny itty bitty and then these are like brush pins but the tips are perfect tape because I ran out I think when I was crafting like two days ago so I needed some more of that thought these little heart stickers were so cute the red and the red and clear and then the pink this is something new I'm trying I've never tried this before it's basically what are those little things the um an exacto knife oh gosh but no, it's not called an exacto knife but it'll be really easy to like cut things off I think these like bedazzled I want to put this in the front of my journal like and spell out my name and then I got these these are stamps like this is how they make stamps now I is this new I don't know I did not know that like I did not know stamps were now created on like these little clear things I'm sorry can you even see this it's literally so bright so I got some alphabet ones because I want to be able to like stamp it or whatever okay so then apparently you like take it off of here and then put it on one of these things and this acts as like your stamp does that make sense yeah so now that's how you like make stamps because if you keep buying like the block sets that takes up so much space like imagine if I wanted to get a stamp in all of these letters you know that would like have I would need to have so much storage so apparently that's how like you stamp now I did not know that I don't know if that's always been a thing when my mom would do crafting she would get like the actual stamp like the real block things or whatever so I don't know if that's a new thing new to me I feel like it's new I've never heard of that I like this like these are like real stamp sets but I wanted the really tiny letters and I don't mind having like one one a few stamps like real stamps or whatever okay oh and then I got an, like an acrylic container because when I do crafting at my desk I always am like getting back up and back down and back up and back down to grab my different washi tape or whatever it's like I could just fill up whatever my theme is gonna be fill it into that take it to my desk and then just have that it goes everywhere it goes crazy like if you do any kind of crafting you know it gets chaotic quickly okay and then we'll do a little book haul I really want to read the chestnut spring series here we are I honestly love 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 the new covers I love the old covers too they're really pretty but they're basically impossible to get I probably have to like scour the internet to find them so I'm like whatever I like the new covers it's a safe bet they're cute um so I got the first three flawless heartless powerless they're so pretty I love the covers and I did check to make sure they all looked pretty because I my bookshelves are completely full so I'm gonna have to put these in a new location I'll show you guys when we get home um that'll be fun like kind of restarting a new bookshelf and then I also want to start the Addicted Calloway series. The Addicted Calloway series used, if I'm remembering this correctly, used to be two separate series that like intertwined, but now it's just one series, the Addicted Calloway series, just one series. I looked up the reading order on their website or on, yeah, what is this, on Berkeley's website. So that's just the reading order I'm gonna follow. I already have the first book at home, so then these are the next two, I'm pretty sure. I hope I bought them in the right order. For some reason, I'm feeling like I didn't but that's future me's problem so that's my little book haul okay let's get some lunch honestly i kind of want um chick-fil-a a caffeine headache from getting a decaf coffee but anyway my greatest life hack that my husband actually showed me is to get your drink at chick-fil-a or wherever with no ice but i really only know about chick-fil-a because that's the only place i've ever done it you get so much more drink more bang for your buck if I drink it down, I'll add like a little bit of ice from home so it's like really cold. Also, I've been obsessed with nuggets with no sauce. Mmm, 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 My fries with ranch. Okay, so since my shelves are literally pretty much full, I mean like I could do something here. I don't want to remove the plants though because I feel like it makes it so pretty. Maybe move this, take this out, 
or I could like make this a full book station. I don't know yet. But what I was also thinking, well, Caitlin gave me this idea, is putting some books on these shelves right here. That could be like little cute. That could be a cute idea because this is like our coffee station. And I have plants and stuff. So I kind of want to see if I can do something over here first before I start kind of destroying that because I just like how aesthetic that is. So let's see what we could do over here and see if it looks okay. This is what we're working with. This is all I <laughs> the, the books I bought today are the only books that really can't fit. So the Addicted series, the Addicted Callaway series, and then Chestnut Spring series. And then as I buy the rest of the books, they'll just go higher. It's looking cutie. This is my little stationary station I've set up recently. Here's a little, a little close up. All my pins, more pins, scissors, washi tapes washi tapes these are all like i don't know like we have some stamps we have some wax cute little addition things this is like stickers papers little scrapbooky things and then these are all stickers and then these are just like post-it notes and then this is like my study guide things from school so anyway i'm gonna put all my stuff from michael's away in its place Just noticed I had some packages, so might as well open them. I got this box cutter. It's like a little cloud. Oh, yeah, Amazon is so cute. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Alani sent me some juicy peach minis. I love. I didn't know they came in these little packs. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Printer ink. Let me what this is. A Christmas gift for my son, Superman costume. <laughs> oh goodness, okay. I was kind of hoping hoping during Black Friday I purchased some Taylor Swift shirts. So I was hoping that this is what that was, but sadly it's not. Oh, no, they haven't even shipped. I ordered them, I think on Black Friday. And today is November 18th. Should I be concerned? <laughs> I'm kind of embarrassed to say this, but I've been reading Mr. Fixer Upper by Lucy Score. I feel like, that's okay. I feel like Lucy Score definitely is not my go-to choice for authors just because like when you when I think about her books, I just think so much spice, so much, I don't know. I just think of it as like a palate cleanser type book. It's kind of like silly, lighthearted romance. But why do I like this book so much? Like I kind of started it like, thinking I was not gonna actually enjoy it. But I'm on page 186. I don't know how many pages are in this. 402 pages and I'm halfway done. And I really like it. And it's actually not as spicy as I thought it was gonna be. Like you don't even really get into the spicier parts until like page 100 probably. And I definitely just thought like every other chapter was gonna be like spicy, spicy, spicy. But it's actually not that bad. And so I'm enjoying it. I think they're, they're relationship aspect is like really funny because it's not too much bantery fmc and the mmc their dialogue is i feel like perfect for this book it's not too bantery not too high stakes it's honestly just like so chill to read like i i feel great reading it but i don't feel too much like oh my gosh i need to know what happens next in a way not in a bad way like in a good way in a good feeling way anyway um i've been enjoying it taking it slow i was gonna read 
the Christmas fix, but I didn't realize this is the first book in the series. So I kind of have to wait. I actually need to hurry up and read this so I can read the Christmas fix before Christmas. So anyway, that's my little reading update. Actually, now that I'm holding this, I forgot I wanted to redecorate my Kindle. So maybe we can do that together right now before the sun goes completely down. Let me grab my stickers. Let's do this. I haven't changed this since I got my Kindle. Oh, well, let me tell you guys about this because I feel like some people have asked me. Okay. So one of these MagSafe pop sockets from like the actual brand pop socket. And I got this butterfly pop socket on Etsy and I just took it off of, it like came on a plastic like pop socket thing. I just took it off there and then glued it on top of the MagSafe pop socket. Like, I don't know if you could tell, but there's actually like a full pop socket under here. And I just glued this on top of that. And then this is a ring I got on Amazon. I can link it down below. Actually, I can link my Amazon storefront or whatever in case you want to do the same thing. This, like for a pop socket, I don't know if you guys know, but you can always change the tops of them. So if I wanted to do something different, I could do that. And I like that I can take it on and off if I wanted to. Okay, something about the Kindle was not kindling, so I changed it around a little bit, and here's what we ended up with. This I had this like strip of photos on my Kindle before, and I honestly feel like it needs to be there, otherwise it just looks off to me. I don't know, this looks better. It's more scrapbooky. I love the cat. I love the cat so much. So cute. This is it without the pop socket. So cute. Oh, I'm obsessed. My Kindle video, I'm doing a Kindle giveaway, so I decorated that one too. Kind of the same vibe. A little bit different though because I have a skin on mine. And I didn't do a skin on the one I was giving away because I didn't know like what color people would want, so I love her. Decaf Chai, I'm gonna watch a video, do some scrapbooking. I am like doing a prayer journal scrapbook. I just got ordered this um, notebook and i'm doing like these scrapbook pages because i also downloaded a new like bible reading plan that i'm gonna read in a year so i put these on here and then i'm gonna put like the bible reading plan cut it out and put it on top so that the bible reading plan will always be like at the beginning of the journal so i don't know i loved these like scrapbook pages so i'm gonna keep doing that tonight um drink my chai watch some youtube anyway thanks for watching i hope you guys liked my first like reading not reading but like bookstore vlog let me know what you guys thought thank you so much for watching and i love you so much